Hey everybody, this is your boy Garrett J. White, the founder of Wake Up Warrior and the CEO of DKW Styling. I'm sitting here with my wife, Danielle K. White, the creator of Natural Beauty Bros. You can learn more about that. The creator of life and your babies. The creator of life and my baby. The life <laughs> of my babies or just the life of babies? Know. You don't know what you've created. I've created our babies. Our babies. Okay, we're going to create our babies. All right, well, listen, I, I'm all about and I completely 100% support you creating babies with me. Mm -hmm. And that's interesting because our topic today, in Date Your Wife, happens to be the topic of sex. Hmm. That's your favorite. It is my favorite. Your favorite. You're not actually talking into the microphone. I'm sorry. I'm you're not. Right now, nope, Instagram you're not even, you're not even doing it. You're literally just like messing around right now on your Instagram. Woo! I'm ready. Now I'm messing around on my Instagram, no. and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do on my don't Instagram even know right how now. To Instagram. I don't know how to Instagram, but you I think do. I can figure it out. Here we go. We're you gonna. Always go there to we live go. Buttons. Live on the Instagram. This is. I don't. <laughs> live on the Instagram. There you are. Live you on the to, Instagram. Let's, we don't have. Okay, much, listen. Here's the deal. Instagram. We don't have much time. We're going to go. Uh, we're going to go after this show. We're going to actually put this right here. Hold on. No, don't go live. End your live. I don't want to be. No, we're going to go live for just a minute. Mm -hmm. Just a minute. We're going to go live. Just one second, we're right. going to go live. All right, listen. Our topic today, if you were here tuning in for the very first time to the Date Your Wife podcast, I am excited to have you here with us as we jump into another episode of the conversation of sex. Money. Sex or the conversation of what? What's the second week's topic? Um, second week's? Yes. If the first week's topic is money, what's the second week's topic? I don't remember. Money. Mm. You just said it. You just oh. said it. It's money. All There's right. So the sex, money, communication, and Na parenting. Okay, good. But not in that order. What is it? It's sex. Um, it's sex. And then? Sex again? No. I like where you're <laughs> going with this, but it's not sex and sex. It's sex and money. And then it's what? Communication. And then it's communication. And then it's what? Communication. No. Kids. Communication parenting. comes after parenting. Parenting. It's parenting. You're forgetting about the kids, for goodness sakes. I don't ever forget about the kids. <clears throat> You're in a, no, you do. You are forgetting about the kids. Okay, listen, like, here, here's the deal. We are, we are having a topical conversation today. Topical? Topical. <laughs> not, not to be confused with the topical ointment that you place on yourself. On the topic <laughs> of sex, at one point in the game, I'm not going to lie to you, I was uh, really wanting to endure the game of sex longer in marriage. And so what I did was this. Wow. What I did was the following. Jody says you've had too much tequila already. I have not had any tequila, Jody. Jody, listen, you need to live by the code. Okay, I had. A You're not a living shot. by the code at all right but now. It you literally are lying. It You're fucking even, lying to our entire even, live audience. It hasn't even set in. Okay, have you had a shot of tequila? I had a yes half or no? A shot of tequila. Half or a full? I. It was a baby shot. Live by shot. the code, woman. I'm living by the code. Living by the fucking schmode you're living by. You had a full shot. Tell the I truth. I did not. <clears throat> you didn't have a full shot of tequila as we started the show yesterday. No, no, I had a half. That, wh That's the evidence right there. I'm telling you right now, she had a full shot of tequila to start today's topic. Are well, you ready to talk now about? You're are, not are, are you ready? Code, so. I'm living by the code. Yeah. I didn't say I didn't you take a shot. I, I took a shot, shot with you. I we took both a shot took with baby you. Shots. A baby shot compared to what? A giant, uh, you know, a giant. Let's get on with the topic of this Eskimo. show. Let's do this. Let's do this. End your life. Peace out. Okay, Bye. listen. Here's the deal. Bye, We're going to talk about sex. Instagram. We're out of here. If you want to join us on this, well, we can't do it live anymore for you because we're going to focus on what to talk about yeah, this. Yeah, we got to focus. We'd love to see you subscribe to the podcast. Head on over to Date Your Wife on iTunes or Google Play and or head over to DateYourWifeNow.com. You can check out past episodes and or this episode today. All right, gentlemen, I'm out of here. Ladies, I'm out of here. Instagram, bye bye Okay, so we've we've ended the promotion. All right, let's do this. All right. Oh, let's talk about it. Okay, so we're going to talk about sex. Let me ask you this. So why, we, why do we talk about sex? Like, you literally, know, as a married couple, why think, is this even a topic? Because this is because, one of our more popular shows right here. This, it, this no, episode. it's only a popular show with your guys. I, li, w and guess what? 70% of our listeners are um, guys. I disagree. It's probably. I haven't actually studied that. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> live by the um, code, Garrett. <laughs> oh, I'm, no, just, no. I'm just going to tell you that literally there are a lot of guys that listen to this show. I'm, I'm shorter than you. I know. That's not so, gonna work. So I'm gonna tall. I'm gonna set up taller. Okay. I'm like five nine. For real though, like why like why do why do we talk? My voice is blasted from an entire week of training. Why do we talk about you sex on this show? I think that I think when you're married, like you like there's a part of you that's like, oh, wh what's going on? Why like 
you wonder like is is this how is this how it is and then you talk to the other married couple and you're like yeah this is how it is and you and you start to realize that is how it is it is how it is why do you think that marriage you know why does you know married what? sex okay, go to the shithole you know what i'm starting to realize like I'm just going to like pat myself on the back. Pat yourself right on your espalda. That's the Spanish word for back. Go. <laughs> I feel like I keep it spicy. I like yeah, it. Yeah, don't even. You, <laughs> you had a smirk because you had a visual. And you're I like, had a visual. The yes. moon was out. Pat the doors on, the on our bedroom were open. This it was go time. Okay, so literally, let's talk about this spicy let's not topic. Let's talk about it, but let's no, talk we're about gonna we're talking about sex, but we're talking about spicy. Okay, so we've we've always the, our first sex show we ever did, we talked about QQP, which was Quickie Quickie Porn Star. Explain because what this I'm is. Explain nope, women, Explain what it is okay, because so, we have new listeners; okay. they need to understand the so QQP. I, have, Off you I go. own a salon in Laguna Beach, California, called DKW Styling blog DKW saying and I it's funny because I Garrett's always like you're not normal and I'm like I honey I, I work with all women like I promise you I'm normal and the more I talk to women I'll I will you know if I get to know them a little more I I ask him I'm like so what's like normal for you like how many times do you have sex like what is what's the answer you get how many times a week are women the, having the, sex a good number for girls yes. like literally if they say three times a week I'm like good for you they're like I know my husband's so lucky but here's what I want to okay, get to. Okay, okay. Here's what I want to get to. So, What's the average? Is that the high? What's the average? That's kind of high. Like that a, has to like, be fucking high. That's high. That's really high. That's high. And okay, the women so that talk I about the that, average. The women that ask that, I'm like, good for you. And they're do, you like, I uh, know. do those women want to be having sex no, three times a week? No, but this is where week? I'm getting to. So okay, women, women, like, it's like, you, you, <laughs> Katie's friend said it best last week. She goes, if you don't mop your floor, somebody else will do it for you. Oh. And I was like, oh, if yeah. If you don't mop your floor, so, someone but, else but will But the too. problem is women go approach sex as like, I'm just going to mop the floor. It's like, get her done. And then there's no fun in that. And I think with if guys, if they go so long with just like a, a simple cleanup, they're not going to be satisfied. <laughs> <laughs> I love if you related sex to cleaning. Yeah, that's. Yeah, it's a cleanup it's, job. It's a clean I mean, literally, literally, it is a cleanup yeah, job so, afterwards. So it, when she said that analogy, I was just kind of like, ah, oh, makes sense. Got to mop the floors. But then I'm like, isn't that funny that women think of sex as like, got to give it her, give it my go. Got to mop my floors. <laughs> like, <laughs> like when she said that, I was like, oh, uh, um, if you don't mop your floors, somebody else will. I'm doing cartwheels on my floors, then mopping them. Then doing more cartwheels back to them <laughs> and a back flick over them. I'm not going to lie to you. Your sex game in the last six months has gone through the roof. Do you I... think it's because of this show? <laughs> no. I... No? Why do you think Why do you think your sex game has gone through the roof? Because you as a woman have literally... I'm not going to tell you. ...blown my mind. I can't tell you. You can't tell me. Because it's all about the QQP. Like, for some reason, it's I'm telling you, It's all about the QQP. I'm telling you, like, I get it. You got to get her done. You got to mop the floor some nights. But some <laughs> nights... You Some nights you got to put on a and Cirque du Soleil show. Yes, and sometimes you're like, God, this is this is weird. And then you get like halfway in, you're like, I'm an acrobat. And you didn't even know you were an acrobat. And then you wake up the next morning, you're like, fuck, my back hurts. Like, <laughs> <laughs> this was literally the case in last week. <laughs> but You came for the first for the first time, you came into a situation where, you, <laughs> where your back was hurting. I'm like, I'm 35, my back hurts. <laughs> Less back bends. Oh. But, all right. So, but no, there's like this, there's this piece of it that you're like, oh, it's like you're kind of having fun with it. Like you're. Talk about like this because I, I swear to you, women, I mean, listen, men are uncomfortable with it. I'm not going to lie. I think that you get to this but place women, where women are even more uncomfortable. Both uncomfortable. Like you, I agree. You get married and you get so busy and like, and you're kind of like, ooh, like, <laughs> I'm not going to tell you who, but. I was talking to somebody we know. You're talking to someone we know, okay. And she's like, and I hang out with some, probably some alpha women. Okay. And she's sitting there and we were joking about sex and she's like, I literally had it in my hand and I was wondering, like, I had to cut him off of conversation because he wanted to share his feelings and I had it in my hand and I was like, are we going to do this or not? Are you, do we, you want to keep telling me your feelings or are we going to do this? And I was like, Okay, don't do that because that's that's uh, kind of a turnoff. Did like, she say that? She said she this. She said that to oh, him. Oh shit, that's for sure an erection killer. No, but she. Did but his yeah, erection die? I'm like, if you have to say that, like, that's when you, ladies, yeah. like, I'm just telling you, like, I get it. Like, sometimes you gotta again mop the floors. I get it. Yes. I get it. Yes. But sometimes you don't need to mop the floors. Sometimes you, you need the what? floors to mop you. Oh wow. <laughs> so, so <laughs> you're getting excited just listening. Sometimes to this I'm show. already getting this is foreplay. I'm literally getting turned no, on right now on the show. Like here's the thing. Okay, like, talking about it. what this no, means, no, no, you no. have to you have to literally 
You have sometimes, to. Okay, sometimes, sometimes you're tired, and you just gotta you you gotta get in there and get it done. But then sometimes, like if you really want to have fun with it, you gotta act the part and play the role. Like it's it's literally like how they do it in the movies. Like entertain that idea. Like have fun with it. Like walk in the room in your underwear and just be like, oh hey, like. I mean, you just, that's what you do. You, you can't just be in bed and be like, are we going to do this or not? Are we going to do this? Because that's like not going to, like really just because your legs are open doesn't mean you. that's attractive. Like that's oh, all I'm saying. Oh, I love where you're going with this right now. Talk to me more about this. Continue well, no, to go. I just think like, okay, I always go back to like when you're dating. Right. Like if you're dating, are you going to be like, are we going to do this or not? No, you're going to be like, oh God, I can't tell. Does he like me? Does he not? Like, what do I need to do? You're going to be like, oh, whoops, my towel dropped. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> I don't know what that looks like for you, but I'm just saying like when you're married, if you expect to have that chemistry and that spark, play the fucking game. So why do you think the women stop playing the game? Because it becomes a chore. To the guys it becomes a chore of mopping your floors. Oh, that is the worst analogy shit. I've ever heard. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, you know what though? You know what though? It's reality for most women. It is, and they're like, most "All right, married women. I got it's the checklist, the and I'm gonna floors. mop the fucking floors." And you're like, "No wonder your sex, your husband's k- sticking with you, because like you mop the floors three or four times a week. Good for you. Your cleaning analogy is amazing. You're spot on. However, what if you didn't mop the floors? What if you did what? I just think that like a little circus Olay. I just think that you gotta have a little bit of fun with it. And you know what's so funny? Oh, what? Go. Uh, I, I mean, literally. I, here's the deal. Most I don't know one guy that has to mop the floors, but I do no. know. I'm sure there's tens of millions of women. I was watching the Today, who the the Today Show, and I I don't even know who done something. Whatever her name is is on there. I don't even and know. And there had on this that sex show. specialist, and she comes in, and really? she's like, and she's saying. Not a sex specialist. I'm sorry. I don't know who this lady was, but she's saying like, okay. it's it, when you're busy, you should schedule sex. Schedule it like it's on the calendar. And I was thinking, I was like, ew, schedule sex, weird. But at the but, same time, we schedule like one to two date nights a week, and that's usually a guaranteed win. So I think I like I got her analogy of like you like schedule sex, but at the same time, I'm like, you can't be that girl. It's like, well, it's Monday and we schedule it and it's three forty five, and so like because then it takes the fun out of it. So you have to like that's great if you want to like schedule pencil and sex, but. It's also kind of a buzzkill, and you have to learn to have fun with it and relax. And for both partners, I think when you're married, like, it doesn't matter if you're married. Sometimes it gets a little awkward, and you have to play that game of, like, what if we were dating? So, like, ask yourself, what if we were dating? How would I act? And even though it seems like an act, because you're like, this is silly. We've been married for 15 years. Like, this is silly. All of a sudden, it becomes kind of fun. And I'm not saying you have to, like, like it's it's simpler than you think. It's literally just, like... It's simpler than you think. It's not like role playing or anything like that. It's just like, what would you do if you're dating? You're not going to be like, are we doing this or what? I'm going to mop your floors. Like, you're going to be like, hey, like you're going to try and be kind of sexy. Do, and let me ask you a question. Do you do you end up feeling, do you feel better about yourself when you go to that place? And what I mean by that is like, instead of mop the floors. I'm happy you go that to, my okay. man is fulfilled. Really? Like, I know that, like, you can have sex, and you're like, yeah, that was great. I needed that. But when you when you have fun with it, your man's feeling fulfilled. Like, he's not going to be looking at other women because he's going to be like, God, last night was great. No, literally, this is the case. I'm going to verify I know. This. No, I know it is. No, there is no thought. Like, women want a secret formula, and they say, like, oh, just put out for your man. And I'm like... But it's not enough I to just, exactly. it's not enough just to put we, out. You have to give him yes, content. You totally and it's not even about content. It's just like it's more about the other party going in and being like, "Hey, I know this is fun for you and it's fun for me and it's yeah. fun to like please you and it goes both ways." It does. And so, yeah. I I'll tell you from the guy's side. From the guy's side, I this is a like there I I was having a conversation. I'm not shitting you today. I was having a conversation with an entrepreneur. I'm not going to say who it was. I'm going to say what he does. But he was sitting in my front yard. I have a small little patio. Okay. I have couches. And uh, he came over and he sat down. He said, listen, can I have an hour? I said, no, you can have 30 minutes. So we sat down and we talked for 30 minutes. This was today? This was today. You were gone getting your eyelashes done. I was like, when did this happen? Yeah, you were getting your eyelashes <laughs> done. So anyways, he came over, he sat down on the couch. We're sitting on the couch in the front of, uh, front of our house and we're having a conversation. And there were two situations that came up. One was she was upset about what he was wanting sexually. Okay. Mm-hmm. Who is this person? I, I'm not okay. saying any names. I will tell you after the date night. Okay. Or I'll tell you later after the, after okay. this show. Okay. So I, I want him to be able to be safe with who he is. Sure. Okay. So he's she's upset about the sex game. But but the thing that the thing was interesting was I, I looked at his patterns. He's hustling. He's grinding. He has three kids. His wife had a baby a year ago. So there are four children right now. And he is... He's trying to figure out the game, but I looked at him and he has this faulty understanding about sex. 
And I looked at her and I said, listen, okay, you want to have sex. Your wife's putting out. You're having sex. She, but she, she actually said um, she wants him to move out. That's why he came over. I know. And, and I wasn't sad for him. I realized what was going on. I diagnosed it in about four, you know, about four minutes, three minutes, four minutes of questions. Mm. I knew what was going on. They don't go on date nights. Mm. Okay. Number one. Number two, she has no time away from the children at all. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Number three, in the last three weeks, she started going out drinking with her girlfriends. Mm. So she's finally giving time and he takes care of the kids, but she goes out to like one in the morning. Mm. Yeah. You did the face. Mm. You did the face. Okay, so I looked at him and I said, here's the problem. You want to have sexual connection with your wife. And at the end of the day, your wife wants something different. It's not that she wants, doesn't want sexual connection. She actually wants something else. And if you'll give that to her, it will support you in the sex game. But it will also bring your marriage together. So I looked at him and I said, do you want, and I was really direct with him. Within like four minutes, I'm asking a question. Like, what's the deal? She's like, well, you know, I was like, what kind of sex do you have? You know, I, I, she, is she okay with blow jobs? <laughs> Are you okay with going down on her? Like, you were do you have really anal? Asking. Do you have, you know, is this it just is vaginal? You were oh, yeah, in two minutes. <laughs> and I'm like, Are you doing <clears throat> missionary? Are you doing cowgirl, reverse cowgirl? Like, what's going on? Like, tell me, give me the frontier right now. And he was super uncomfortable because no one's ever asked him these kind of questions at this speed and at this fo- frequency and at this focus. And I'm asking him the questions, I'm laying out the terrain and I'm looking at the frontier and I'm asking him all this data. But at the end of the day, the real fuck up that he had mm. was that he thought it was enough to just make money and invest in the children. No. Okay. Because I, I did okay. this forever. You Talk know, to me. Okay, go, so, go, 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 okay. go. I used to think that women wanted time. And then I was like, no, 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 it's not time. We want validation and attention. I don't care if you're the shyest person on the planet. I don't care if you're an introvert, an extrovert. Like women want attention. They will always, if they're not feeling like they are have validation and attention, they will go look somewhere else for it. Just like guys will go look somewhere else for sex. And unfortunately, sometimes when women go look for validation and attention, it can lead to sex. With somebody else. With somebody else. And it like a lot of the valid like and, and this is the thing is like if you're if you're a woman and you're not feeling validated and you don't feel like you're getting attention uh, because your man is working and then he comes home from from the business and he starts pouring into the children which guys go through this it's a weird thing well, they think that pouring into the kids is going to get them laid give them points but I think but it, it ends up not it ends up yes getting the, guy the points feels or not almost like I would imagine the guy feels awkward and the safe place is always the children for sure and so they're like yes. God, my wife this tension like she wants to rip yes. my fucking face off and I work so hard and I don't I the kids are safe. All yes. uh, double brownie points, hanging out with the kids. Like you think that, and then you think you're going to get laid right after. And then you're like, "Well, I put time in with the kids," and, and then you don't but get really, laid. You're fucking scared of your wife because she's going to rip your face off because she's pissed because you're not giving her any time or attention. So my this suggestion, is, I'm going to validate this, a man. This is literally what goes on for so a lot of guys. So in fact, even when Garrett comes home some nights, he'll like hang out with the kids, and I'm like, and he'll be like, "I got to put him to bed," and I'm like. Hey, fucker, they'll put themselves to bed. They're old enough now. Like, quit using that as an excuse. If you want to get laid, if you want to hang out, you're going to need to c- <laughs> come over here. Continue. You're beating my ass right now. But I'm I, okay with I, it. I'm, I'm like, okay serious. with it. Go, like, go, there's go. times even now, like, you'll, you'll be like, I got to put the kids to bed. And I'm like, no, you don't. Like, I'll step in and be like, good night, girls. Brush your teeth. And he's like, what if they don't brush your teeth? I'm like, then they don't fucking brush their teeth. But I'm not like no. a, I'm not a very routine mom. I'm kind of like, I was even raised like, like, I, I, it was at fend for yourself, and and I think it it taught us a lot of um, independency, I guess you could say. But I don't know. I just that's like my my parenting strategy is like they get to this point, and I'm like, brush your own teeth, say your own prayers, tuck yourself in, and then if it's like a story time or whatever, it's like a special treat. But that doesn't need to happen every single night. Like no. I know that there's parents with young kids, and they're like, but we have the routine. I'm like. Well, your marriage fucking sucks. So, like, maybe you have a routine that's that's not so. You know what? I'm gonna throw my I'm gonna throw myself under the bus on this. Okay, it was it last night. It was a couple nights ago. And two I, nights and ago. And I was like, put no, him to it bed. was last night. You were asking me to come lay by you. I always ask for you to shit. lay by me. Like, I'm it was. not sure. It was I mean, last I wasn't night. naked, but I'm always like, babe. You were wanting me to come lay by you. And I was like, I, I was in this weird place. We just I, want attention. I know, but you, you were asking me. I was thinking about this morning on my walk and talk. I walk and talk with myself every morning at 5 a.m. <laughs> I walk and talk because I'm, a, I, like, I'm literally a fucking crazy person. So for the first hour of my day, from between 5 and 6, I walk and talk with myself so that I can just stabilize, like, you're a fucking crazy person. How do we not be crazy today? How do we channel that crazy into creation? 
So like, but la- but this morning in my walk and talk, I was thinking about life. It was last night. It was literally last night. And you said, come late by me. I said, no, I'm tired. I got to put the girls to bed. You always gotta, say that. And I think I'm, it's, I why think do it, I do that? Because it's your pattern, your routine. And why I'm do like, I do that? Because it's like, like you were literally it's, asking me to come spend time with I you. Think it's a safety, Please fuck me I is what you're saying. I think it's a safety mechanism. Like, I don't want to get turned on or turned on, turned down. Turned down. I don't know. I don't know. But, it, but I think it might have been like a past pattern where you're like, if I put the kids to bed, then I can come to bed and be like, oh, babe, like what happened? You went to sleep. And I'm like, because you fucking took an hour to put the girls to bed. They God, don't need an I hour. It, right? And that's happened so much like and that happened last night but that happened when our kids were littler and i feel like it's a pattern that i'm like babe i'm trying to break it i know and i'm trying to break you of it and i'll be like bailey you're old enough go to bed and i think i literally i think i literally did i uh, you know you're saying that right now it's a defense mechanism for sure from past patterns and behaviors i've never i've never considered what you're saying right now until right this exact moment and even when i go in and i'm like babe i got it you'd be like (laughs) i want to spend time with them and i'm like or we could just tell them to go to bed Lock the door, uh, and we could have sex right you now. You know what I tell? Our, <laughs> this is probably bad, but my my daughter will be like, "Mom, come snuggle and come hang out." And I'm like, "Babe, I love you." Me and Dad are gonna go have sex. She's like, "So gross!" And I'm like, "Yeah, don't open the door. We're gonna have sex." <laughs> it's and true. She's like, so it's a good gross, move. mom. And I'm like, again, it's a good move. And then she doesn't come in. You know what though? I I'm looking. I mean, we've been married 15 years, and I'm looking at. We've been together for 17. I'm looking at the patterns, and I I am confident that what you just declared is a revelation for me. Which is, I, I, at some level, I come home, and it, you know what it is? It's when I'm really tired yeah. from a lot of work. But wouldn't you rather just snuggle and have yeah, sex? Yeah, yeah, but for some reason, I go to You don't even have to talk to me. guilt with the kids, I though. don't care about your feelings. <laughs> I just want to sit and watch Game of Thrones and have sex uh, and go to bed. Oh Well, it's tough because Game of Thrones is pretty much a porno. But, like, I, like I, 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 I'm looking at this. This was last night. This is literally last night. You're saying, I'm, li- I'm hearing in my mind an echoing voice. Come lay by me. S- leave them alone. They can put themselves to bed. Come lay by me. Come lay by me. Come. Why do women drink? Because they're like, oh, well. By me. I'm just going to go drink and go to bed. But like, I, and what did I do? I did not. C- no, I, I did come lay by you. I don't you. remember. I fell asleep. I did, Chloe, I did come lay. Dog. No, I, I did like, come lay by you eventually. But it didn't matter because, like, I would, I had anyway, already, I had already gone down the pathway of this. I'm glad this that you're having this aha moment with kids. I don't, I didn't realize that I do this until right now, but I'm realizing that I do this okay, right so now. Okay, so what kind of mentoring can you give the guys? Stop using your kids as like a, a safety net. Well, Maybe you, I think you the, face the battle. Whether, I think you whether your wife's it. even, you know what would be good if guys came in what? home and even if they're like stressed or whatever, because I have to be careful if I approach you right after you come home because I know if I say something. That's like if I'm like stressed and I release my stress on yeah, you right when you get good. home, it's then it's good. like a guaranteed like guaranteed blow. Up. So then it's like weird because I I'm excited to see you and I want to share my day whether it's stressful or drama or not. I want to share my day with you. Right. But I also know you're kind of like settling in. So my first step is like feed him, and I usually take. It's <laughs> true. It is literally <laughs> fucking true. If I don't have food and I come home and I get ambushed, it is no bueno. I know, and sometimes that happens. But what I'm saying most is of the time like it you, doesn't. Like, You've been cooking a lot more. Um, I know. Why is this? I literally you I, have I, my like four times a listen, week you've been cooking. My mom's a good cook. We grew up. My mom's always a good cook, and I think I have that in me. I just don't care. I feel so loved when you cook. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm like scrambled eggs, babe. Even if it's scrambled eggs with a little tortilla, like for some yeah, reason, no, like I just or toast. I no, feel like I feel me, loved. Like I'll be like, sit down. I got this, and I'll even if it's scrambled eggs, I'll make it, and I'll be like, okay, hey, I got the kids. I'll go shove them in the yeah. bath. And then I think it's just like a pattern <laughs> of like. They they go in the bath and then I go on Instagram for a good thirty minutes <laughs> and then you debrief downstairs. Yeah, and eat I usually am eating and I'm and I'm then you totally come up decompressing. And then we're good though, but then we we're are. good. And that's when you go into the pattern of like I've got to go put the kids to bed, and I'm like, you know what it is? I think of it. Think of it of it is like there's a lot of dad guilt that comes with yeah, like you working spend a lot. Time with them, but I do right. in the morning. I spend time yes. with my kids in the morning. I take them to school. Well, you know I was what? loving taking Ruby to school. Val is says it the best because okay. Val, I do my Big Money Silas podcast with her and she's always like, it's not about, you have to just have pockets of time. And if you have pockets of time where it's not on the checklist of like, hey, I spent 30 minutes today. Okay, I put him to bed. I did, 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 did. Like, it's pockets of time where you're like on a Saturday or a Sunday and those are the memory that kids are like, Oh my God, my dad was so awesome and this and this and this. Like, I mean, they might, even like I said, like bedtime stories could be like a special thing. 
Right. You know, or back tickles or whatever it is. It doesn't necessarily have to be a 45 to an hour thing every single night. And I think that that's something that's stressed in general with young kids is like, I've got to do the routine. But the routine sometimes costs you a little bit of your relationship. So you have to minimize the routine to to not 45 minutes to an hour. Oh, I, I mean, I'm for sure have used the kids because I'm sitting here and thinking about this. I for sure have used the children as a an excuse to not... They're a safety net. Have to be intimate with you. Well, because they're... Even though I want to have sex with you, I don't want to be... I, like, I I, I'm not sure like, how to be intimate with I'm you. I'm seeing it too, though. Like, I get okay. it. Like, I'm like putting myself in your shoes and you're like, okay, I just worked a shit ton. I just want to decompress. I just want to like have a Play happy... Play LOL I, dolls and do nothing. Yeah, I want to like have a happy wife that's like doting and this and that and like whatever. And then if you want to share your feelings, great. Like... I get it. I work too. And then like when I come home, I feel bad because sometimes I'm not like totally plugged in and I don't want to play LOL dolls. And I'm just like, ah, I'm like in like survival mode. And I feel like not like the best parent. But at the same time, I know like on the weekends, I kind of make up for it. On my days off, I make up for it. And so it's like pockets of time where you can just really like have have fun, you know, and not worry about necessarily the guilt. Because I feel like guilt really actually is the enemy and kind of holds us back in in everything pretty much so if we feel guilt with our parents or with our kids that doesn't really that doesn't really serve us or our kids let me ask you something so this is, and we're gonna wrap up the show yeah I'm starving. so yeah i'm starving too we gotta go eat and we're gonna keep continue our day night Here, here's the thing though what like so to the guys and changing that pattern i'm just becoming aware of this pattern on the show right now so i obviously can't give you any fucking advice about what to do because i've used my kids obviously um, my wife has seen this for 15 years i'm finding this out right now on the fucking show so in like seven months I think women do it too though. i think like six months i'm, I'm going to sure, be able to give you some advice I'm on this sure but right now too. i got nothing for you i'm sure like kids are always using an excuse i wrote a whole blog post on like using your children as an excuse and I think if whatever you want in life, you can you can make it you can make it happen. But yeah, the excuse of kids has to go, I guess. It has to go. Okay, What's, so let me ask you a question though, like to finish the show, <clears throat> like because I I really do think this is a, this is like a problem because guys ask me this question, they hear about the QQP. How does how does a woman get herself to a place where she is permission? Yeah, gives herself permission to just unleash. Like, you have given yourself permission to unleash. And I'm not going to lie. It's fucking changed my life. Like, it has literally changed my life. Like, I, like in the past when you had not and you weren't giving yourself that permission, I was constantly struggling to keep my mind focused on you. But now I, I am telling you, all, I fucking always, think about no know, other it, woman it ever to, anymore. I, feel like we, I think about you. Like, I get triggered. I literally think about you and moments we've I feel like in had. life, it's so funny because we put up this, like this wall and yet we want we want this but we're not willing to submit or surrender or whatever it is and so our end goal is and it could go in just sex business whatever it's like we know what we want but we're fighting we're doing everything we can to not make that happen does that make sense yeah so so i'm like oh why should i why should i don't want to do that sex i get it i was there for like so many years i was like well fuck you like you pay the bills like i don't want to give you that sex you know what i mean and, and then right. it gets to this place where you're like if you give i give and it's like it kind of becomes a give on both ends and then if you do that more often it kind of all of a sudden you're like this is fun and it's like any habit habit or pattern or routine or whatever it is like the more you do it the more it's just like the new norm and the more it's all of a sudden you're like this is kind of fun it's like working out if you haven't worked out forever and you're like oh my god this sucks so bad yeah and then all of a sudden you like crave it and you like you're like yes i want to like work out and like <laughs> and it becomes like you you literally it's like a piece of you that you need you know what i mean so i don't know i think that in relationships if you say like well I don't want to sometimes it's like just think of it as, <laughs> as honestly like starting a new workout like put in the work now and then it gets easier and then before you know it it's actually kind of fun there you go so you've got some submission I'm, I've, I've obviously got some awareness here in my therapy session called this show with my wife <laughs> and realizing I've used my children in a completely inappropriate way to uh, shield myself a bit from having to but deal with my wife. But you're such a good dad. Like I love. I don't want to take away from that time, and I can tell even the kids are like, "Dad, I, dad, I mean, dad. a part. Of, I love being with my kids. So, too, like, so. I think the, theory, the what I'm thinking, like the solution should be because honestly, yeah. like our bedtime routine kind of sucks because we wait way too long. 
So what if it was like a routine of, and, that's, and I think that's why I'm always like pushing for you to get home a little bit earlier. I'm like, yeah. come on, so come on, come on. So we can start earlier. I, so I don't get home from work till like 7, 7, 15. I know. And that's why I'm always like, even if it's like 6.30 and then yeah. at like if 6, I got home a little 6.30 early, that to 7.30 you debrief and then like 7.30 to 8.30 is you and kid time. And then at like 8.30 we're like, good night kids. And that's then a good you, point. Like at 8.30, I'm not going to be tired at 8.30. The only times I'm like, well, I'm going to bed. It's like 9.30 and I'm like, I give up. He's still trying to put the kids to bed. I don't really care. I'm going to go look at Instagram for a good solid hour and then I'm going to fall sleep about 10 30 and i'm so, still dealing with the kids yeah so what i'm saying is if we just started this process earlier and it becomes and that, and i feel like i'm always trying to like get after it you but are it, and for some reason i you, i end up getting lost in the child vortex no you get lost on your laptop or whatever so like what we have to do is just commit to like <laughs> closing the laptop because that's, that's when I go. Because that's when I go to my phone, and you're on yeah. the laptop, and I'm yeah. on my phone. And so, what we have to do is get that get that routine out of the way quickly. And then, if we want to sit in bed and watch Game of Thrones, and you have your laptop and I have my phone, but we're kind of hanging out, like that's that's. I like this show. On like a Tuesday, I'm like, okay, good night. So four weeks from now, we're gonna report on this right. in the sex show, repeat and we're gonna talk about how this new report, strategy works. Okay. Return and report. Ret- yeah, I'm like repeat and report. Repeat and report. <laughs> return all right, and that's report. all we got for you now. We are starving. We're heading off the date night. For a little din din. I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Uh, Again, a couple of reminders here. If you are not currently getting access to Be The Man, The Book, you can find this in Amazon, available to the public now. We have had thousands and thousands. Right now, we have already sold out the first round of 4,000 books. We have the second round coming in right now. Almost 500 full-on multi-paragraph reviews about this book. Uh, Gentlemen, if you've not picked it up, or ladies, if you're listening to the show and you know your man needs a copy of this book, it's $20. It's actually nineteen ninety five. You can head on over to Amazon. The audio book is going to be available at the time we're recording this show. It should be available within two weeks, maybe less from when we're recording the show. But we've got a version in print. Uh, paperback can be shipped to you with Prime. We've also got access to the Kindle version, which can be downloaded immediately, and the audio book through Audible, which will be available shortly. So thanks so much for being here. I uh, hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your week, and we look forward to seeing you next week when we come back with the Date Your Wife podcast with the